This time we present our tourist account of his visit to the Korean Revolution Museum under the title, Portsumbo Battle. One years ago, on June the 4th, the group leader Kim Il Sung commanded a history battle in Portsumbo, Biangang province in the northern part of Korea, during the anti japanese army struggle, in order to give a hope of national liberation to the Korean people who were growing under the Japanese imperialist colonial rule. Greeting the significant 75th anniversary of the victory in the Portsumbo battle, we visited room 14 of the Korean Revolution Museum with visitors. Displayed in the room are the materials showing the historical fact that leader Kim Il-sung had put forward a policy on advancing into the homeland with large forces at the historic Shiga meeting and for its realization concluded the Portsumbo battle with a brilliant victory. We entered the room and stopped before a picture of leader Kim Il-sung commanding the historic Portsumbo battle. To the visitors, looking up at the image of Kim Il-sung, Full of fighting spirit and conviction of victory, lecturer Che Myung E said. "위대한 수령 김일성 당시께서는 소방위에서 제기된 방침 실현을 위해서 부대를 고시고 1937년 6월 For the implementation of the policy advanced at the Shigang meeting, the great leader Kim Il-sung led the unit and the crucial financial barrage of the Jibo Amnok on June 3, 1937 and climbed up Gongzang Hill overlooking the port in the town. On June the 4th, leader Kim Nelson confirmed the reconnaissance materials from the enemy's movements in the street of Port Bo in detail and took up the commanding post under a popular tree by the river Tarim. At 10 p.m. he fired a signal shot on the police substation and sub-county office and at the enemy's ruling organs were dropped in flames at once which flew above in the night sky of Portsambo. Pieced up in the street were the temporary program of the Association for the Restoration of the Fatherland and proclamation and appears and leaflets were scattered. Listening to her, we looked round the photos of the street of Portsambo at that time, the then newspaper reports on the Portsambo battle, proclamation pasted up in the street during the battle and not on the mantle. The lecturer guided the visitors to the large picture of the great leader Kim Il Sung making a speech before the people of Paul Tsung Po. To the visitors looking up at his picture with solemnity, the lecturer explained. As you see, the streets of Paul Tsung Po was enveloped in joy and ecstasy. All the people, others, and even children turned out into the street and chanted, Long live General Kim Il-sung and Long live independence of Korea. When we acknowledging the enthusiastically cheering people, the great leader sharply exposed and denounced the brutal oppression and plunder of the wicked Japanese imperialists and made a speech rousing all people to the sacred anti-Japanese struggle for national liberation. Recollecting that time, the great leader said, the great significance of the Portsumbo battle is that it not only convinced our people who had thought Korea was dead, that this country was not dead but still very much alive, but also gave them the conviction that when they fought, they were capable of achieving national independence and liberation. Pointing at the paintings of Li Dae Kim Il Sung commanding the battles of Korea Shu Shen and Zhang Zhang Fong Martin, the lecturer emphasized that those battles were significant ones which consolidated the success in the Portsumbo battle. Seeing different materials on the Portsumbo battle, we admired the unusual intelligence and military studies of Li Dae Kim Il Sung. You've been listening to a photo's account, Portsmouth Battle. This is Voice of Korea. <laughs>